Welcome back, guys, to Trails in the Sky. We're deep, deep within Orleo. We should have completed pretty much all the dungeon as we now step forward to our final challenge, having got gear for all our party members and now totaling, what is it, up to the level of 38? I don't think I'm going to get any uh, extra levels anytime soon, I don't think, for anyone. Now, I think level 38 might be as far as I go. You never know. Maybe Zin will get it. I don't think there's any more chest monsters yet. We've beaten up quite a lot of them after all. All these chests are nice and empty. You came back. I knew you would. I definitely would. As we now step forward to get back in the swing of things a little bit. Because I think it's this way we've got to go. But of course, it's been a week. So let's see if my brain works. Oh, there's the axe throwing guys. Should I fight one of them to get myself back in the combat? they got heal bots at the back as well. Damn heal bots. Well, uh, let's beat up. Uh, on you a little bit, even though you don't... Oh, no, you do take damage. You take full damage. It's the other robots that don't. Can I get a hurricane in a good place here? I want a hurricane for four, really. I guess I'll go for a hurricane for three. Thank you, Kia Cheer, for 90 months of... Thank you very much for your ongoing, ever-going support. Alright, let's craft... Uh, oh, no, art. Of course, white Gehenna. Let's get it on those four in the back there. Follow up with Chloe doing the same thing. That should be every robot at the top there dead. Apart from big robots. And the fates mean that we've got easy, easy, easy life. Okay, but look at it, I also need to get some more CP for Estelle. But that said, we're pretty good for that anyway. Pretty good for that. Thank you, Al, for gifting the sub there. Oh, that's the wrong guy. I thought I really thought you'd be going next there, Estelle. I really did. Right, now you're going, Estelle. Get some more CP. You did get some more from your item after all. One more fainted guy. You're never gonna get there in time. But I don't want you to see or anything like that. He's fainted, he's done. A sub's come in a plenty. White Wolf with 14 months, 14 months streak. Thank you very much. The Noble as well with a 19 month streak. Thank you very much. Well, that was a good job for the experience, to be honest, as well. I'm getting actually going to get near Zin leveling up once in a while. So maybe I should fight along the way. Yeah, so here comes the sub train. I've got to figure out where to go. It's exactly this way. Ha ha! This is the path not travelled. Alright, left or right? It might be the path not travelled, but it might lead to other things. Okay. Now where am I? God, there's tons more pathways still to go through? Oh, good, 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 good miss. It's brilliant miss. Perfect miss. It's definitely what we needed. Let's see if I can get four in this one. Yeah. Ten of these guys. And in the meantime, I should try and attack this robot up here. Right, it seems that we've got a billion other paths to now check out along the path that was not travelled. Who'd have guessed? Let's hope not to use all my EP before that happens. How do we want to take care of Big Bot here? Oh, actually, I just want to use another White Gehenna, but look at it. Yeah. Alright, what did you resist? I do not know. Seem we didn't get the Heal Bot in one of those, or didn't finish it off at the very least. We should finish it off with that. Now, the guy who's going next is the Big Un. I guess I should... Good job there. Well defended. You helped so much there. Good stab. And so we start with the missing already. Preparing to use arts, are you? That's heal. So we could just let him heal, to be honest. It's fine by me. Poor Zin being beaten up a little bit more. You can't even reach Zin. I'll still get the final whack. Oh, wait a second, not following that. You healed quite a bit, didn't you? 
surprisingly large amount. Surprisingly large amount. Let's go. Gives another sub to Randy. Thank you very much. Right, that should level up soon at the very least. 39 for you. It's only like a couple of battles to 39 for the others. The speed at which I level is really nice. Okay, is this going the right way? Wait, have I gone back round somehow? I haven't been to this chest. Okay then. Wow, tier roll bump. Nothing more than that. So when you plan on giving me my stuff back? You, to be honest, you can have a tier roll bump. We don't need that necessarily. I don't know. Is this the right way or the wrong way? I gotta go back, haven't I? Oh yeah, yeah. Well, more Gehenna's. Alright, one more whack there. So, oh, we're on a critical. I'll still double up with that just in case. Yeah, I'm sure I'll, I'll definitely find the exit by midnight. To be honest, I was expecting less of a pathway than this. Paint on the big bot. This dungeon, though, very massive, very big. Well, at least, if anything, we're going to be able to get everyone up to 200 CP. So we'll take that as our goal objective, even though we're running out of EP. Okay, about two more battles for the brights to level by the look of things. We'll take it. I say this is the right way, right? Oh, yeah. So this, this, this is leading us down another floor. This is the right way. So let's turbo up and check out the path not traveled yet. So we haven't checked in there. And apart from that, there was nowhere else to check. Oh, there's a little robot over there. I think that was it, yeah. Another chest. This one has mechanized creatures in it. Oh, it's got the silly blooming explodey ones. Oh. This is a harder battle than we want to really partake in, isn't it? Oh my goodness. And everyone goes first by like an absolute mile. Do I want to just rack up my CP again and beat them up? I thought it was done with all these blooming chest monsters. Especially these guys that need to be impeded like a ton. Um. Ooh. How do I go about with this? It's not like you can do much here, Zin. Hey, Let's get the saw bots on us then. Someone's on a critical. I didn't press the button! I wanted to do a break on that critical, but technically we're on a critical for White Gehenna anyway. Oh my god, that looks like a horrendous lance. <laughs> this looks fun. Alright, we've got the big boomy bots, and we've got like 15 spells coming in. We do have like hard break for impede, but one of the things I could do is just get into the middle and just... But that might move them out of the white Gehenna, but it would probably impede a lot of people because she's got impede free on, hasn't she? But that does put her in the middle of all the death doom. Alright, so someone's still using a really big AoE spell, the one at the front. I could use this art here to impede. Make sure that doesn't happen. Oh, this is going to be so bad. Alright, we got the two heal bots. So no healing. We've cut that. Oh my god. Here come the arts again. Oh. <laughs> and they're both on criticals. I think I'm going to have to pop a special here. 
Unless I can manipulate to an order at all. Now, I think I'm going to have to pop some kind of critical. Well, Hell's Gate works. I mean, I could also go with something like... Flicker as well and hope to get two of these. That guy at the front is going to have a nasty attack. We've got Death Blow on one of them. we got Impede on two. Okay, that Impede's pretty good, but we still got one hell of a big spell coming in. I don't have anything to Impede on the last guy. So I think the best I can do is just literally move out. On this turn, at the very least, just... Get him out of the AOE and let the other two take the hit. This is going to be a critical as well. Oh, that even got us. I didn't even see it getting you. Right, do I? Try to mess them up now. Because we are basically an explosion zone land. But I do have a critical here. I could get lots of damage on everyone. And maybe <laughs> sacrifice Estelle at the same time. This is going to hurt Chloe on top of that. That's a big hit. Right, so now we just need to make sure that everyone is okay. No, not 200 HP. 200 HP is not good enough. Alright, I'm thinking it might get those two. some nasty abilities. Right, and hopefully, you know, Zin doesn't go first. Right then, if that's the case, I need to just use something to heal her up a bit more. Cures KO. Strength plus 10%. Strength plus defense up. That's all something that will heal the most. I mean, technically, I do have tier all bombs. Quite a lot of them now. This is a nasty monster chest, isn't it? Here's a full AoE, full AoE. Alright, anyone that's anywhere in range to impede when I look at it? Oh no, one's doing a normal spell, the other one's doing a full AoE. I think that one's doing the full AoE, right? Sheesh, man. I think I could actually get more than one in this. I mean, that's nice for getting a critical onto that. But I still want to make sure in P's the priorities here. Hmm. Especially with what else is going on. This is a nasty battle. But it's never exactly easy versus these little guys, is it? Okay! So who's the one using the big AoE art? Do you know what, Seek? Oh, this is going to hurt the other guys. Maybe the strength down debuff will actually help. But seeming I can kill him on this go, and it does have a little bit of but maybe a spell will be out of range? Hey! Oh, it's you using it! What's that gonna do? Ah, oh, that's nothing! That's like a love tap. What am I worried about? It's gonna be up this guy a bit more. I right, should be able to take this one down. Oh, or maybe not. Right, big AoE are again. We have Madame Impeder ready to attack that guy anyway. I think we'll take the explosion to the face over here, to be honest. As long as I get that guy down after all, everything's good, right? Ah, well, we survived it. It was a bit crazy. Yeah. 
amount of damage that was coming in, I can definitely make sure I get the kill with Heartbreak and Impede. Time to explode! That was a little bit nastier, wasn't it? Well, the brights don't level up off that fight, but it's about one little bit more. Oh my goodness, I might fight those little robots that are outside as we find ourselves a Valkyrie dress. Ha <laughs> no. Nice of you. Right, Valkyrie dress. We already have one on you, so it's Chloe that doesn't have one. Big increases, so we'll take that. Women only. I guess now is a good time for me to chow down on a little bit of more food, wouldn't you say? That was a bit... Yeah. Bit much fight. Bit many enemy. So where was that one group of enemies to a stealth can level up? It looks like I'm running out of bad guys after all. It doesn't look like I'm going to get any big amount of experience. So I may as well get at least one more level up across the party before anything else goes on. No, this is a Gahana dream. Uh, may as well just say that guy. Considering stepping down the elevator probably is the end. That's probably when our bosses begin. Yeah, Joshua can totally wear a girl's clothes, you're right. Why is he not allowed? Why cannot he not be the person he wishes to be? Well, everyone's got 200 CP, so I'm happy with that. Oh, someone lived? Like, on a minuscule amount of HP? Okay, then. Good luck with you, sir. Alright, we're good to go. Now, is that enough experience? Yes, it is. For one of them. The other Bright is not going to get the game. Chloe's a little bit farther off. But still, I'll take it up. Any more power we can get, the better. So that should be every enemy in our path. Every chest unlocked, maybe. And nothing more waiting for us. Got a chest there. There was a monster here. We've already defeated the monster here. Oh, I'm nervous now. And down there should take us to our fateful times, right? He says. There's no other doorways here, right? Unless this takes us up. Sealed area, bottom level. The halfway point really did mean it. And that is an arena. Or not. Well, it is. It's just, when does something want to jump on me? That said, I kind of expect to find a rest point somewhere. No? I thought I'd find like a rest station or something. Should I use the EP healing items? Uh oh. Ah, there we go. That's what I'm expecting for a final boss. Hey, check it out! Something about this spot feels different from the other areas. I feel it. It's like some kind of massive energy flow. It's probably our last stop. Let's go over everything and make sure we're ready before we go inside. Alright, so... Time to rest quickly, gain our EP back. Fingers crossed. Whatever's happening next. If we can't notice the structures of a boss fight right before us, then we are but fools. Let's go. Oh, whoa, what's this chamber? Ah, four prongs in different colours? Hmm. I figured you'd show up. In fact, I couldn't see any scenario in which you would do otherwise. Colonel Richard, at the Queen's request, we're here to put a stop to your plan. It doesn't look like the gospel's working yet. We may still have time if we act now. Haha, <laughs> I'm afraid not. Why not? Why is this Oriole thing in the first place? Why is it getting it so important to you? Long ago, the ancients were granted the power of the Septorians, heavenly treasures which could control the ground, sea, and sky. One of those treasures was the Oreo, the shiny ring. If it's true that it really existed and was no mere myth, do you realize what it could mean for the country? Can you even begin to comprehend? For the country? You're talking about using these ancient weapons to intimidate other countries. That must be it. Precisely. As you are no doubt aware, Libel is lacking in political power among our neighboring nations. We have only a fifth of Calvert's population, and we don't even have an eighth of Erebonia's military capacity. 
Our sole superior aspect is our technology, and that will not last. We need some form of real strength to avoid any chance of another invasion attempt. But that doesn't mean we should count on some weirdo ancient weapon thingy. What about the outcome of the war ten years ago? That happened because we had Cassius Bright with us, but he has left the military. The country's great champion is gone. And so the only ones who may enact miracles are the goddess herself and the hero beloved by her. And is why I established the intelligence division. It seems that information is our last bastion of protection against our enemies. But in order to make the intelligence division as effective as possible, I searched all over Lebel to find some sort of decisive strength. Something that would invoke another miracle should disaster strike the nation again. And this is your miracle? Of course. Can you imagine any greater miracle than this? Well, we're braces, so protecting what's important is our job. But that doesn't mean being so powerful that everyone else is cowed in submission. The greatest miracle of all is when people band together and fight to protect what they love. <laughs> Nonsense. My dad's just one man. He didn't beat the Imperial Army in his own. It took a lot of other people working like crazy together to protect the country. And it's the work of all those people that brought the war to an end. Weren't you one of those people? We still feel the same, here and now. When we found out what you were planning, we didn't get it. But it's our will to help people that's led us here. Don't you think that's miracle enough? Even if it's not, we still believe that there's potential in anyone. Heck, everyone! If another war should break out in the future, people will do the same thing. They'll work together and do what has to be done to make it through. I don't know much about this ancient power, but I do know that we can count on our fellow Liberians. Estelle, I agree with you completely. Haha, <laughs> truly the words of a master. <laughs> you are strong indeed. Sadly, not everyone is like you. When face to face with an incredible power, it is a temptation that is simply too much to bear. And I have put in far too much time and effort, all for this. I see no reason to turn back now. Just answer me one question. How did you know about this place, Colonel? What? A forbidden power, dormant for untold centuries, unknown even to Her Majesty. To say nothing of the elevator right beneath the treasury that leads straight here. It seems extremely unlikely that you'd have found out about this place just by using the resource of the Intelligence Division. Well... Also, this gospel. A mysterious ornament, far more powerful than even the finest ever made in the Zeiss Central Factory. Where did you get it? I don't have to answer that. Wrong. You don't want to answer because you can't answer. Wh what do you mean? You simply believe that the Oreo would be here. And that if you use the Black Ornament, you could control it. But you have no idea when or how you came to that belief, do you? Am I wrong? That can... So perhaps his memories were tampered with, as they were with Kurt. So, so what? It doesn't matter how I got here, just that I'm here now. And look around you. I found what I was looking for, didn't I? These ancient constructs could never have been crafted with present day techniques. So I must continue down my chosen path. Oh, here come the robots again. Oh! If you truly believe in the path you've chosen, then try to stop me. Succeed or fail, one dream will be realized while another crumbles to dust. Now allow me to show you the artistry of one who studied under the Divine Blade. Bring it on! This is how it must be, and you'll be given no quarter. There's that music. Right, he's moved up, he hasn't attacked yet. The ones I'm more interested in are these guys to the side rather than Richard, because of course we want to eliminate one guy fast. Richard's obviously going to have a lot of special abilities, but it looks like we could probably kill the bots before we can ever get round to killing him. So with that in mind, either we can get some nice stuff like Gehanna's on to get them down, or we could go with some other abilities. Actually, let's just take it as an incredibly long fight to start with and buff ourselves up. That would be a great idea, right? He's got 11k HP after all. Now we haven't had good chance with taunting any robots, and I doubt that I can taunt the boss, so we found that out. Oh, it's you guys! It is you guys! Anti-art git! Okay then, well as long as someone's using an R, it usually means that they can't do boggle. So, that's good. If we want to take it that way. Ha! 
Ha, huh, this sucks because we know we can't really do an attack on the first guy here. So what I'm going to do again is I'm just going to cast a fake art. And we're going to give this go a, a, like a, a, a buy. Because what we need to use is campfire. And then target one bot. Alright. Here we go then. Can now I get a clock up, clock up and try to buff up? In the meantime, we can finally start to go in on one of these guys. If Joshua's fast, then we can try to spam out some white gehennas. Oh, wow, you don't hurt too much at the moment. Which is actually way more worrying than I would have thought. <laughs> Atomic missile! Well... Didn't do anything. I didn't know you had that. Is that special now? Wow, I can clock up my clock up my clock up. How many turns does this speed last for, anyway? Well, we know who we're going into. It's going to cause all the don donkey missiles to come our way. But I think we can deal with it. A standard clock up. Shall I get Zin with that? Luminous wheel. Nice buzzsaw you've got there, sir. I'm going to continue to beat... Oh, no. He's already lost his defense down again. Well, if that's the case... Oh, these guys are going to anti-cancel as well. You know what? I hate these guys. Not getting the clock up there. Wait. Oh, you got HP heal on that thing. Can we have a critical up here so I can use some of the CP? That'd be great. Alright. Clock up X. On to Chloe. Now we can get tons of camp for out. Which is something we want. Something we desire. Except this is hardly doing any damage. Oh, I should use morale. Now that I think about it. Do you think I can flicker between Richard and that guy over there? Okay, that does AoE. So having them next to each other isn't exactly great for us. Cool. Death blow. Ah. AT delay's not too bad though. Sorry, we're going in all, all, all in on those guys. I mean, to be honest as well, you've got the thing. Just take it down. Once one's gone, life will be a lot easier. Okay. So let's use a Latira on... Oh, they're not close enough? How dare you not be close enough. Let's use a Tira then on Estelle. And I think finish off that last guy. With a long range attack here from Josh. One robot down. Here comes another new. Richard's a great patriot slicing of his princess. He don't care. You don't really have any arts or crafts that will really help me here, do you? I mean, you can buff yourself, so that's not too bad. Ooh, Josh was on the critical? Ooh, that looks good. Alright, let's get camper over here. 
maybe I want to take this battle as a marathon, not a sprint. Oh, what the hell? Oh, yeah, do it on him. Die with honor. He's not going to die. Don't be silly. That's a lot of blood. It's a lot of blood for only a third of his HP. A lot of blood. Right, uh, critical. Uh, do I go with it? And smack everyone quite hard? Or because I can get more CP in time? Yeah, why not? We'll leave the other ones with their CP just in case. But it's on a critical. That's too good a chance to kind of give up, isn't it? Can I reach this guy? Oh, my goodness, I can. Alright, we need to bash him in the corner. Everyone's spread out. Zin is, like, completely okay. Can I just keep using Camphor? I mean, I could nuke Richard's stats for a little bit as well here. I'll get nearer to him. Ready to get that robot then. Hmm. No one's close enough. Who do I make sure stays up at this point? Because I can't really do damage to that guy. Morale's too far away to get anyone else. Let's just beat up Richard for a bit. He's got the debuff after all. Luminous Ogre Slash. Good damage. I want the robot. But I need Camphor. Sieg is so OP. <laughs> right, we're getting nearer. I guess what I want you to do is move to here. Oh, you're using arts? That's annoying, because I intended to use another ability on this turn. Everyone's standing way too close to you. Get in there, Zim. I wanted to get attack up on everyone, but that hasn't worked out very well for me at all. Uh... Need more speed on Chloe. Robots already ran out of thing again. That's new to Colonel Richard. I'm making this take way too long. Stupid robot in the background! If I have another critical soon while he's got like strength defense down, that'd be great. I love him beating up on Chloe as well, that's great. Shouldn't be something I'd be voicing, mind you, but you know. Alright, how do I keep going with this? I'm gonna stay near those two. And Estelle has to go that way. Yeah, I just like to move her there and then cast Motivate in that spot. That's what I'd like to do. I'll keep beating him up. Even when the clock up, seems that Zoe's... Chloe. Zoe? Isn't going exactly that fast. Please kill this stupid robot. Finish the robot. Kill the robot! It's still not dead! It's enough to get a spell to. Zero damage. How much does it do normally? 276. That's fine. 
we're still fine for HP, amongst other things. Zin should be able to finish this guy off on this turn. That's another robot down. It's like Chloe has one move, even though I would like her to heal. I wonder how much his special does. Oh, <laughs> when he's straight from defense. <laughs> why, thank you. I don't know why you hate Zin. He really wants to make him bleed. That's pathetic, man. I think I should just keep people alive now. I think I'll have another turn shortly for Camper, right? This is where we're just going to go in on him by beating him senseless a lot. Sieg is MVP, yeah. Now we could bring the rest of the guys actually over and do stuff. Or I could just, you know... Make sure the target of his ire is constantly debuffed. Oh, what? You fainted me? Now that I wasn't expecting. We're good to go. Learn recipe for black pepper soup. I'd like to understand what he really expects to do against me at this point. I feel like this battle is long just due to HP values as well. Alright, everyone is finally in range of one another. Yes! Come on. I'm gonna beat the crap out of this guy. But... Ah! Yeah, oh! Let's say in a strategic fashion where we gain more uh, CP because we need CP. I did not come to pass. This is where he uses something crazy and gets me nastily. You just don't like Zin. What have you got against Zin? I don't understand what your problem is, man. Let's gain CP because there's no way this is the final, is it? Take him down. Poor this guy. Oh, it's a critical coming up. Can you just fist him in the butt, please? Nine, 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 nine. Is that the maximum I can do on a melee attack or something? That seemed a bit low for a critical. Oh, I should have used Campfire. Oh, well. I'm just beating him up into a corner now. If he uses Luminous Wheel, he's going to hit all of us. Oh, oh. That could be nasty. This time, no defense buff, no defense down. How much damage is this going to do to Zid? Oh, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> Good hit. Take down. Oh, an Arte. Time to use hard break again then. Give us opportunity, we'll use it. But that was new, wasn't it? I don't know. Well, it looks like you're pretty much dead. I mean, how much HP do you have left? 886? This is a good time, man. I'm too far away. To be honest, they still need healing, regardless. Are you going to get another attack in? 
Okay, I can use some abilities before you. Not enough for the kill. Oh, he's gonna get a 10% hit! No, no, oh, just have it. We'll beat you up in a second again. God, I just let him have a 10% HP heal. I could have just killed him there, but I feel like keeping my CP just in case. I think that's important. Who knows if I'll get healed up in between things after all. Why are you not using your luminous will? You would get me, right? You do know that. Alright, that's the guy who needs to get the CP. Gotta reach it! You've been defeated. Is that it? Oh, Joshua level that. That's pretty good. If only Chloe did as well to get the heal. Tier roll bomb, EP charge X. Impressive. I'd expect no less from the children of Colonel Cassius. But it appears you are too late. No! It's the light that shut down the mayor's artifact. Is this the energy of the yin? Damn, it's a total orbital shutdown! What does that mean? But what was that? It's the orbital shutdown phenomenon, but it's not like before. It feels like something was released. Warning. All personnel, warning. Huh? That thing is talking. First barrier on sealed audio device has been confirmed as no longer operative. Confirmed gospel has been activated. Device towers have been enabled. What the hell's going on? The first barrier. The sealed Oriole device. What's this all about, Colonel? I... I don't know. I didn't expect... First barrier has collapsed. Ring is emitting very slight interference. Destruction of seal on Ring Guardians confirmed. All personnel should evacuate the sealed area immediately. Are these freaky looking things? Stay on your toes, these are the Ring Guardians. I, I can't believe that. Do not be deceived by their appearance, they are not to be trifled with. Gate sealed. Orbital Tower Swords deactivated, system restarts complete. Mode eliminate, target corners confirmed. Seal mechanism Ring Guardian Reverie, what? Now resuming search for intruders? Well, that's a giant rope. That's a really big robot. That's an interesting camera angle for the fight, too. You were going to go first, dude. That's fair. Okay. I'm going to do sound wave at me. CP hill. Okay. What is going on here? So we've got reverie. We have left forceps. We have right forceps. The right arm piece of the reverie. Using ancient magic strong against art attacks. We've got Reverie here, left arm piece the Reverie, repairs with damage, strong against physical attacks. And an uncanny mechanical beast created by an ancient civilization, Reverie main. Repairs if damaged. So that one One needs spells against it, one needs physical against it. I'm guessing they repair periodically during the battle. 
That's bad news. Okay. If only that was like AoE, I'd be great. So we want to probably camp for something and weaken it so we can bust it out faster. Oh no, stream's dying out here as well. That's not good. Do you think taunt will work? Yeah, taunt hasn't worked against robots one time yet. Wait, d didn't work against that guy either. Right force that's preparing to use arts. Left force that's preparing to use arts. Uh, do we have anyone that can stop that in time? Yes, we have two people that can stop that in time. Question is, can I flicker on those two? I know he's strong against physical. I was hoping for the impede. The impede worked. It doesn't look like we can AT delay. Brilliant. And I definitely... Is this that single target? It's single target. Okay. Are we using hard break here? I'm going to impede that for Daphne, even though she's got 80% impede anyway. Oh no. Right then. What move to use next? Or who to spell on? If Camper isn't going to work on anyone, that really sucks. I don't have... Clock X on you, only clock up. I'm guessing no debuffs will work either. My best bet is White Gehenna. Maybe taking that critical there. Except we've got double arts coming in again here. Can I impede one of these? Ha 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 Timings. Which one is it that's using... So it's arts guy here that's going to go first. What the hell art does he have? He says repair, so I'm guessing it's heal. That did not impede, but the critical was good. That's most of its HP. It's going to heal the other guy, right? That's what I thought. Oh, we're going to have to use some criticals soon as well, by the look of it. That's for certain. Okay, I have no one necessarily to impede. That spell is on an area, though. Okay, if I use Estelle to use Barrage on that critical turn, and then use someone else to critical turn on the other one. Twitch, guys, is it working? Right. Nearly taking that one out. That's the annoying thing about it. Oh, I can kind of manipulate turn order a little bit here. Let's use Gehenna on these guys. Let's get a barrage off on this one because it should impede too. That's a lot of damage. And got the impede. That puts Joshua on the critical with Gehenna. That's turn order manipulation. Something tells me these will res over time, though. But at least I have got some damage on the main boss, too. Oh, so close to dead. Wait, it still used the R. Looked like it was impeded. Oh, what? It's in. Oh, hello. We've got another thing coming out here. So a heal's trying to come out over there. I'm going to have to steal that critical again, aren't I? Let's 
gonna heal that git. We must have something that cures freeze. Only the softening bomb. Right. Except I have let I have spells for this, Sam. Now has spells for this. Oh, Gehenna will come out first? Well that means that guy's not getting a spell off at all. Oh, he doesn't blow up, does it? It did go away though. Right, four sets preparing to use arts now, and we'll not get it off in time before everyone else kind of beats the crap out of him, so that's not bad. We even have enough for hard breaks, so that's not too bad either. Uh, what's this? It's a charge line attack. That I don't like this look of. Ugh. I was expecting to do zero damage there. We've actually done half damage on the boss while also fighting the other things. Right, so we're expecting the hard break on the main guy. Can I just impede that other guy when it's a craft? This is a bit of a risk. Putting you right in the line of death here. That is not how impede works. Quite evidently. Well, we're getting ourselves into a nasty spell or some kind of weird ability is going to come and nuke the party. Let's find out what it does. Oh, I wish I didn't. Woohoo! That's a laser. Did we try to camp for you? Or should I try to get a heal but considering everyone's HP is really blooming low? If I use Latiello on myself then, I can basically move Estelle up and in, hoping this guy doesn't have some kind of melee sweep or something, just to get the heal as well. I would like to move Chloe away. EP heal's not too bad. AT delay didn't seem to stick on this guy, so we just want to overwhelm with speed, I think, would be a nice thing. This is where he does have a melee sweep, and now I'm in big trouble. He has a melee sweep! Of course he does! Does this work on the main boss? No. Bit of a waste of a critical there. <laughs> of course he has a melee sweep. Why wouldn't he have a melee sweep? Don't be stupid. Of course he's going to have something weird like that. Well, nice critical there. Fair bit of damage. Faint can't hit. No status effects can hit. That's what we've learned from all of this. So, if that's the case, I could, for example, send comets and stuff from a range. Or I could just put her in range and attack things because then, when I think about it, he's going to do the melee sweep every turn he's on. And why would that be bad? It's one way of looking at it, right? If we can try and game the system a little bit there. We also know we cannot block this, so we just want to move them out of the way of it. Oh, 
Oh, Twitch and its server issues, eh? So I'll move you to here, Estelle. That's out of range of the attack. We'll continue to use White Gehenna in the meantime, because that's just ridiculous. I'm still going to save my CP, just in case. I still think that's a great idea to do. Well, now he can fire his lasers all he blooming well likes. He's not going to hit a soul. Even with attack 10. Too bad I can't use, like, hard break here. How much HP has he got left? 2,000? He ain't got much left in him. Big robot. Shh. What do we care about big robots? They can't even aim straight. I think if you're a big robot, the least you can learn to do is aim good. Big robots need to aim good. Well, you fired your lasers from your crotches, but I'm okay. Crotches? He's got multiple. Oh, I hope he doesn't blow up. Why would he just drop already? Looks like it still has some power left in it. Watch out! cool mode annihilation ring guardian reverie now resuming extermination activity and it'd been going so well too well nice this only has one attack now he says oh don't summon things in what the hell is that is that explosive a mechanized droid that uses an ancient magic similar to ours. Does it explode though? That's the question I have here. Oh my goodness, it didn't even do much damage! Well, time to try and annihilate whatever it is before anything bad happens. In the meantime. This is going to be an ad control encounter too. We've got tons of CP at the very least. It's a quadruped, yeah. I was thinking it might take the little ones down. Ah, hello, you've got that too, but how is that? Don't tell me that's like AOE AA canceller. Oh, it hits everyone! That's fair. So, I can't choose arts anymore, is what you're telling me? Take them down. I didn't even do it! <laughs> Go and beat this guy up, Zin. Yeah! Alright, so he's gonna cast an art, but hopefully Estelle will finish him off beforehand anyway. Okay, this could get problematic. I only see problems in my future. Oh no. Will they do explode? It's a bit worrying. So by the look of it then... Oh, he's going to use AA cancer if I do something here. Ugh. You know what? Just heal yourself up. I'm a bit confused about what to do right now. Yeah, yeah. Eat that. We're good to go. Learn recipe for jumping spare rib. We need some criticals to appear or something on the side so I can use some of these specials, maybe. With some S-breaks. Okay, we're getting way too many. There's too many. What? Is he allowed to have four turns in a row?
Okay then. I guess I'll try this. Doesn't get any robots whatsoever, ever. Oh, ho, 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 ho. That's a lot of guys who are about to use moves. Do I focus boss? Do I focus... Technically, you won't get this spell out in time anyway. No hard breaks to get at the moment. After heavy damage, it retaliates. What does it mean by that? Oh, I just turned up my speakers really loud. Even louder still. Turn it down. Can I take a turn of this? Oh yeah, I really should have taken the AOA cancel. Oh, I'm so in trouble. And it can use the arts fast too. And it can heal this guy! And it has a close range chubichu. I do not obviously like these guys at all. Will that kill that one? Yes, so that one's going down, so we didn't have that one's art coming out anymore. Um, I should be able to get a Latira on the whole group from here, so we can top up our HP again. Um, I'm just wondering if you can actually do anything to help me here. Please don't crash my game. I need to just stay standing there to get the heal. Now I could try to nuke them all with, for example, Joshua's ability. It's special. Considering I've got Gehenna as a backup anyway, and I'm not using Evil Eye because it looks like AT delay doesn't count. Why don't you run over there and heal the boss so I can AoE spell the boss? That'd be great. Cheers. Okay. Still no clue what I really should be doing to sort this out. So that one's going to constantly heal this guy for 250 a turn, which I can get with Gehenna's in time. But I need him to stop doing exactly this. It seems like he wants... He's hes gonna have generally quite a few up at one time. Oh, he'll pick a laser. Oh, love. No, not laser. He's got blooming... Alright, on to the heal bot. That will go after AA cancels. So that's useless. Um... If this did actually any damage, that'd be great. So essentially, Josh was the only one doing damage to the boss. I don't think there's any criticals appearing on the side either. If only I could fake the robot. Or fake the boss, that'd be amazing. This is the first fight I'm really having to heal on. Like, really heal. Okay, you don't heal every turn. You can still just choose the lasers whenever you wish. Or still. Okay, are you calling something in or are you using your machine gun again? Now here comes the big AoE or line attack. That's probably going to do a lot more damage this turn. Oh, I wish you weren't doing it like that. Can't hard break it. Should I just jump on this guy? 
Oh, I didn't even get him? I mean, I have to move. He's gonna get Zin. Oh, you can't use AA cancer on this, dude. Let's see how much damage this does to Zin. One thing. Beginning cooldown for all parts, including the small bits. Are, are, are the small things not moving too? I'm, I'm guessing it's not considered a part. It'd be lush if that was the case. I wasn't in range. There's a crit coming up. I'm use Joshua's art. I'm trying to just smash all these little bots down. At least the lasers don't hurt that badly. As Zin keeps being beaten to crap. Oh, I could use that and wipe Gehenna it. But then he should AA cancel on that, shouldn't he, as well? Problems, yeah? Oh, he's on cooldown. Does that mean he won't AA cancel? I'm confused. Such a git, man. You lied! You're not on cooldown! Come at me now! It's just you! You're probably going to summon four in on the next turn. Everything I did is going to be completely wasted. But that's not the point! God, you need to heal yourself so badly. Alright, how can I go at this guy nicely? Like, nothing I do is that great. Oh, yeah. nope, he's going with his melee. Oh, malfunction. Beginning self-diagnosis. Right arm damaged. AA counselor jammed. Lucky, lucky. If AA cancels jam, then hit him with the spells. Oh, what? No, you can't. She's not made of metal. Don't magnet her. One cannot just pick up Estelle and kill her! Um... Where's my full celestial barn? Can I reach her? No. Balls. So Death Rage looks like it'll kill people. That's what we've learned today. I really need to get Estelle up then so I get an extra attack. Here they come again. Oh, that's different. Oh no, what are these? Beta Drone, a mechanized droid that deploys a special force field in order to protect itself. We got new robots, boys. And go. Right, Joshua's on a critical. Estelle lost all the CP. We just got minigunned again. So... I don't even think there's a good ability for me to get off here. On that critical. I say, will White Gahana go off in time? Is the AA cancer definitely down? I think I just need a heal. 
I need to heal so we can make sure that these guys have no weird tricks or traps up their sleeve at this point. That's a good placement at least. Now I got Oral Blast, but none of these guys are near enough. Not that Zin used the CB for anything else. Did I use the group heal on one person today? No, I'm a fool. I didn't realise. That would be why I used it. Okay. So Zin's still alive. He's somewhat okay. If only I could choose to get him to attack from there. Okay, so you still use arts. It's an interesting bit of knowledge. Oh, what? Comet doesn't hit him too? Okay, another guy using arts over there. That art is gonna happen. So we'll use Gehenna to finish off this one at the very least. We need to use an EP heal on Joshua as well. How much damage we got on the boss so far? Because it's basically been White Gehenna. No, not Chaos Brand! What's Chaos Brand? That's confused, isn't it? Resist. Ha <laughs> ha! I was like thinking that was the one that can do Death Blow then. Oh, we got half its HP. That's way better than I thought we'd be. Um, oh well. How do we keep continuing on these guys then? I think making sure you got your defense and strength buff is not a bad idea. And you've gone full healer now. Making sure everyone's topped up. What's this now? It's again Estelle. Which is why I wanted to heal her. She really is bearing the brunt of these attacks currently. Now, who do we go for? Do I try to take care of the little other robot? Or just keep pinging these white Gehennas onto main boss? Another thousand damage done on him. Oh, what well we got? Zin. Zin can move before that. Zin is not going to take this to the face, so that's always a good sign. Just move like two centimeters that way. The other guy's going to miss with the spell too. Ah, uh, so keep going with that. Do I take this opportunity to quickly give Thingy an EP recharge? Where is it? I don't want them standing next to each other is one thing too. That's the first time I've used one about. First time I've heard that noise. Hey, maybe this little drone will chaos brand the boss. That'd be nice. So when's this guy going to use his super death blow again? That's what I'm worried about. Beginning cooldown for all parts. Does that mean his hand's getting fixed? No, isn't. Thankfully, both targeting Zin means he dodged that perfectly. We wasted two attacks of the enemy on that one attack there. Which I will always take as an option. I've still got my speed up. Do I want to send Zin down to just... Punk that guy in the face a bit? Probably not. Considering he can do that much damage with a single hit. I think we're probably in a good enough state to just knock it down. Oh. No, not Chloe! Chloe, use this to heal yourself! My backup! You were like my backup. You were completely and utterly my backup. I had 
your special all ready to go. We were gonna be good. Like, it was gonna be good. Wrong one. Celestial Bomb. Yes. It was the right one. My panic button's gone. Alright, back up and running. Now, these guys should attack these two. Okay, seal. Thank you. Like, still use spells, though, right? Huh. Whacking him, Zin. So he take oh, he takes extra damage during that cooldown period, doesn't he? So he only did 500 that time. He did 700 the time before. I feel like I should take that hint. Okay, we're still attacking quite fine. We've got seals, so we can't use. There's a critical coming up, so maybe I want to use barrage there. Uh, we need to move. Now, we're still okay with them being next to each other, actually. Because I can still get off that. Come on, Zim. Ah! Malfunction. Beginning self-diagnosis. Core badly damaged. Laser inoperative. Oh, we've done some stuff. It did say defense down. I didn't even see it. Uh, how much HP is he on? How much HP is he on? Get him! Get him! What? Not enough! No, not just ready! He had thingy ready! Do I want to get Joshua up again or not? I could just literally go... Seek! That surely would be okay, right? Take him down, Seek! 